All right, we are back, and let's talk about Sakura Genesis. <sighs> um, after what happened at Windy City Riot, it's sort of hard for me to look at this as... And I, I, yeah, and that's the hard thing for me. It's like, you know, Windy City Riot just happened. Where Tetsuya Naito lost to John Moxley. I mean, is, is it really getting to the point where we have to put the belts on people who don't even work for the company anymore? Is that, is that the situation that we're in? Yes, because New Japan, again, fails. Why, wait, here's my problem. Why is New Japan working with AEW? They're, they just purged all of their biggest stars. Yeah. Where are the other people that are working with New Japan shows? Right. Where the fuck are those people? Hello? <laughs> uh, why are you... It's this stranglehold is ridiculous. But let's talk about the show because uh, the main event was very good. Yes. I love Yota Tsuji. Yeah. Uh, but they continue to put him in this position where I just don't think he's quite ready. No, he's, he's way too green. And again, this is a problem. New Japan just fails time and time again to create new stars. Yep, uh, they had Shingo Takagi, but now he's playing around with the never open weight champion with fucking evil. Oh uh, Sonata was the most overrated star, and I'm like, I don't know why his matches were good. But he's he's kind of bland as a character, I think. Yeah, I can I, I understand. He really I mean, needs something he, more than just like a guy in just five guys. He yeah. Because Uchiko Okada had an aura of leader. Right. He had the Rainmaker. Like, but now he's now he's playing around with the fucking Continental Classic champion. Yeah, and now with Sonata, who is a good wrestler, he's just that. He's a good wrestler. He was better as Cold Skull because oh, yeah. he had a gimmick around yeah. him. He, did, he he literally had no gimmick. Yep. Uh, the one thing I was surprised about was Jack Perry. He did impress me on the show. Mm -hmm. He did a very good job. Uh, once again, he has a gimmick. He does. He, and has, he is an anti. He's anti. He's anti AEW establishment character, and I'm 100 percent for him being in New Japan right now. Oh, absolutely. Um, especially if Tony Khan is still a butthurt little bitch about it, yeah. then why would he bother being in right. AEW? I mean, hell, he asked for his release. Why didn't you grant it? Right. Um, I am going to at least say one thing. Uh, Show and Yo is 100 percent an accident. Uh, did he, uh, Yo dislocated his shoulder. Yes. I do remember that. Yes. Uh, he was trying to continue to wrestle, but this lump just like right yeah. there. I'm like, oh, that's a dislocation. And they followed it up well. They were starting to build that junior division again. Thank God. Because they definitely need some people. Yeah. They just, they don't have a lot of people, unfortunately. And it's like, you're, I think, I think that it comes to a point to now where New Japan is focusing too much on, trying to appease the american audience they're right. starting to lose they're, they're trying to appease everybody and when you try they to are. appease everybody you please nobody yeah and that's why why do you think they're doing all this stuff with japanese like you know everyone together now in japanese wrestling i mean i mean it's 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 ridiculous that that aw that, sorry new japan pro wrestling they just fail to make stars now, they, they have this ups and downs. They do. So I'm not necessarily... Right now, they're not in an upswing. Let's put it no. that way. Now, they do have stars, but they're not in the main event scene. Like, right. Uh, Bishamon, they're lifers with New Japan, and they're an excellent tag team. Their match with Bullet Club was very good. Mm -hmm. They have Kenta, who inspired people like CM Punk and Brian Danielson, but yeah. they never really capitalized on them as he should be. Right. They still have some time with him, so I'm not necessarily worried about that. They have Doki with Doki Mania, who was super over yeah. in this crowd, so they're putting him in a really good spot within the juniors. All but right. once again, we're talking about tag. We're talking about juniors. We're talking about the global title scene yep. with Jeff Cobb. They had Matt Riddle. They have Zack Sabre Jr., but all of them are doing good stuff on the undercard, not the right. overcard. Who else but Tetsuya Naito, Yota Tsuji, John Moxley? Those are the only three names off the top of my head that even feel like main event. And yeah. even then, do they really feel like main event? They really don't. Exactly. I mean, and you know, now, I mean, looking forward and then being forward thinking now, AEW is not the only promotion that New Japan has to look out for now. Look at Nick Nimeth and the Global Heavyweight Champion. That's one of their titles. They and try then, to. Uh, what about Tama Tonga? 
He's gone. David Finlay now is playing with Gato on the undercard instead of being where he should be, which is... Like, isn't, still, isn't, isn't he the leader of whatever remains of the Bullet Club? Yeah, he's the leader of the other side of Bullet Club other than Evil, who's playing around with the House of Torture. Right, but he's been playing around with the House of Torture since the pandemic. So. Right. I don't know why they didn't push Shindigo Takagi more. I have no idea why they didn't push Evil more. Evil should be main event. He has a gimmick. He, right. He actually has an aura, and if right. they continued to push him strong, he would be a valuable asset. But they're, right. they just didn't do that. They're, they just, they're just not doing it. They're failing to do it. And now that these American promotions are paying out, well, not not all of them are paying out a lot more, but, I mean, AEW is just uh, bringing out money like it's it's candy. Because, because it has Daddy's checkbook on it. Right. Why does AEW – I think AEW or New Japan, if they want to survive and say – we're not working with you anymore. Right. Screw you. Mm -hmm. We're not doing this because it's just not a good working relationship. No, it's not. Hey, it's very it's very exploitative is what yep, they're doing. Hey, CMLL, guess what? You're not too far behind. No. You're not too far behind until you lose Volador Jr., until you lose Teton, until you lose Ultimo Guerrero, yep. Stephanie um, Ledger, whatever her name is. Just... Wait. Yeah, because they are going to start purging those people as well. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, Stardom, Stardom has, Stardom is, it's dead. Is pretty much dead without this founder. Um, but I think that AEW is going to start purging some of their stars that they somehow cannot get into WWE. Yeah, yeah. Look at look look uh, when because they already did it with Mariah May. Yeah, just wait until Azume goes uh, or AZM. Yeah. Wait until um uh Yutami yeah. goes. Wait until uh Tam Nakano goes. Yeah. Wait until um uh Iwatami goes. Yeah. D only a matter of time. Right. It's only a matter of time people. It is. Because it's a pattern. Right. It's a pattern from the word go. TNA saw the writing on the wall. Yes. And so they ended the relationship before it became Toxic. Right. And they lost a few stars, but they didn't lose very many. Nope, they didn't. It's just a matter of time because they lost Ethan Page. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else that they really purged from uh, I mean, TNA. During, during that time, they really didn't purge a Kenny, Kenny Omega was uh, TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. Uh, Christian, uh, Christian, Christian, Christian Cage. Cage was World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. I know they extended an offer to Alexander. I know, like I said, with Ethan Page. Uh, Deanna Perrazzo is another one. But she left after. She left after. But once again, they ended that cold turkey really yes, they early did. because they knew what they were going to do. Right. So, but now they're playing that. Now they're going to work with WWE who are like, we want Jordan Grace to be on there because, because we want it. Right. It's, it's not we're, we're not, we're, we're not going to sign her. Right. We just want her to be in the Royal Rumble. Do you, right. want, do you want to be in the Royal Rumble? Cool. Sure. Great. Awesome. Right. That's the kind of stuff that we need. Right. And so it's... it's and, then, and then it looks like um, uh, Ross, the founder of Stardom, is his new promotion is going to work closely with WWE. Yeah. Kicking down the door for NXT Japan or NXT, like an exclusive women's NXT. Yeah. That'd be cool. But that's kind of where we're going to be going here. Right. And that's going to be a different kind of relationship. That's yeah. going to be a symbiotic I mean, relationship. I mean, what we're essentially seeing is is New Japan on life support. Yep. And we said this before, but there's no excuse as to why New Japan should be on life support right now, but it pretty much is. Yeah, there, there, was, there, was, there was Bushiroad. Bushiroad is one of the biggest companies in Japan. Yeah, or at least one of the biggest companies in their genre. They're not right. big. They're, they're not big by any stretch of the imagination. They're one of the bigger ones. They, they're one of the more well-knowns, maybe. Because yeah. they, because they are um, playing cards and manga and shit. Well, yeah, but okay, so they run a trading card, whatever. Uh, anyways, those are still popular over there. I mean, it's not <laughs> it's not Pokemon or Nintendo, but yeah, still. it's not like Hyundai. Right, Hyundai, <laughs> Hyundai is a uh, Hyundai is uh, Korean, I think. Yeah. Yes, uh, like uh, like Honda or Toyota. But you know, this is, I mean, I will say this occurred Genesis did showcase a lot of potential with it, their talent. Yeah, it did, but it really got lost in the shovel because there were yep. so many there, there, there was There was so much wrestling. There it was, was. It was kind of hard to keep track of it, but Sakura Genesis did have a stacked card, so I wanted to at least uh, give them another chance, and I was I was fairly impressed. I'm going to give them a full thumbs up yeah. again. Uh, between Supercard and New Japan, I thought New Japan was the stronger of the yeah. two shows, but... You know, that's just me. Let's go. So, anyways, when we come back, we're going to do the actual best non WrestleMania show of the weekend. Definitely.